Yo, what is up guys? It's Bankrupt Dope back with another video. And I hope everybody's having a good day. And if you're not having a good day, I hope your day gets better. You already know what's going on. Before we get started, we finna change this music real quick. Cause we've got the same music playing for I don't know how long. So let me change the music real quick. Let's go ahead and throw on this song. Now, we got a couple things to talk about. First off, this week's chaos memory so far seems to be pretty easy. So I'll be covering that later on, but just to show you guys what I'm talking about. It appears to be quite simple. I'm just gonna be honest. I don't know what it is. These first two sets were very easy. Maybe this one will be harder. We'll find out. Maybe it was just the enemies that they had me fighting, but I was able to like destroy these first sets of people pretty fast. But I digress, but it's kind of weird though because I don't use really anything in here. But if you look at my shop, I have 716. I have no real interest to grab anything in here. But uh, all that to say, I kind of ruined my account and I did it so no one else has to. And the way I ruined it, by you probably just noticed when I was, like, you, you would pay attention. If you look at my characters levels, you know, you have, I see, obviously I have Sila at level 80, you know, near maxed out. Is this the highest level max on like, no, I think you can go up to 90, if I'm not mistaken. Trace is looking pretty good. Not as high as they can be, but they're about to be. I'm gonna max both of these out in a second. Um, Relics, decent, okay at best. Not even, this one isn't even all gold. Not a thing about it. It's okay, it's too irritating to try to get anything better, but back to it, you got 70 him, 60 her, near level 60 Bronya. Can we even take her there? We can. All right, there we got a level 60. I'll do all that grinding and get that stuff later. Take her to 70 probably. Or I might just leave her at 60, we'll see. Jin Yuan, 72 on his way to 80. We got Silver Wolf at 70. And then we're gonna have now. Look, this is where I messed up. Like this is where I, I didn't mess up, but this is where I would have I have technically run my account. Fire MC 60. Natasha 60. Payla 60. Tinyun 60. J I cannot I cannot pronounce his name. Jin J? Jin Q. However, 60. Sushane, 60. Dan Hung, 60. Hook, 60. Asta, essentially 60. And then, the, all those characters being level 60 is essentially not optimal. And then, down as here, you got her 50, my 750, Sampo, 20. These are like new characters that I have the rest. Yukong, 20. Serval, Herda, and Arlen. Now, what you are told when playing this game, what you just know is that you shouldn't upgrade all your characters because you don't have the resources to do it, which is the dumbest thing I have ever heard in gotcha game history. Well, I'm just gonna, we're gonna throw that out there right now. That is the dumbest thing ever. The whole point of gotcha games are to get characters and to, and to use the characters. A miHoYo verse has the most anti use your characters and have fun system on planet Earth out of all gotcha games. They might have a pity system, but who the freak cares when you can't use half of the character that you summon for? It is it is straight up bad. Period. No one can argue with me. They have a terrible system. Period. I can't use my characters upon summoning them. I can't level them up for weeks. I can't even optimize them for weeks. The system's bad. I don't, I don't know what to tell y'all. Right? But we're not, that's not what this is about. The, the purpose of this is that I ruined my account so that no one else has to. I got all these people to level 60 and they're still fodder as fodder can be. And like, I kind of knew that. I knew that they wouldn't be good. Where do I get a ticket? You get it right here. I kind of knew that they would be bad but I still went ahead. I'm gonna use this character so I'm leveling her up. Shut up, stop talking to me. But um, I knew that 
leveling him up wasn't gonna be enough, but I did it anyway. And here we are, we leveling up another character <laughs> right now. But this is a character that I will be using. So we'll go ahead and claim this. But like, look. So they went ahead and dropped some new things with the game. They gave us the Stellar Flare, gives you a couple of Stellar Jade, a couple of Relic Remains, which is complete dog trash. No one freaking needs this. I'll tell you that, right? No one needs this. You wanna know why you don't need this? Because you get, there are a total of two to three horns in the entire game that let you actually focus a specific stat on an armor piece. So, you don't really ever need to use these at this current moment. They're just, you don't. I have so many gold pieces that I have not dismantled. Like, they're just stacked up right now in my inventory. So, if you're wondering why I only have two pieces, because I haven't dismantled everything yet. And I have broken down three, and I've just spammed merged items just to see if I can get stuff instead of having to grind. But, like, we don't need those. I'm just going to be so honest. The RNG in this game is so bad that those don't matter, and it's a waste of resource to give me an event. If this was a horn, I'd be all for it. But to get actual relic remains is dog trash. Um, but yeah, Stellar Jade, y'all. That, that, that's like literally the only thing that matters in this at all. So grind through all these. Get your um, get your Stellar Jade. You get 60 from the first two with each one but if I'm not mistaken you do have to complete the entire thing we also had this lab system which was nice it gave us more stellar jade freaking awesome right but like you come over here you need to in order to clear this part you need to complete all the giant star difficulties to unlock this but as you can see I'm already max rank so this is kind of pointless you don't need to really do that but just for completion sakes I'm pretty sure there's something over in the achieve section that will matter if you clear all the stages at the current moment i'm not focused on that right now but we got those two events which is nice we've got obviously luosha and his banner which is nice they even gave us where that for a brief moment they gave us double planar rewards which was decent they gave us double of these so that was real nice of them but what, what what we need we need these we need to be able to level up passively fast because good god it's too freaking slow we need these listen me hoyo give us the i should not be hurting for freaking books and I should not waste 60 stamina for six books when there's not even one level. Like, that's not even like a full ascension at this point. I should not be able to waste a full day of stamina, a full 180 stamina, and not be able to level up a character all the way. That's ridiculous. But that's where we are. So, I have all these characters. But they're all at a mediocre level right now. They really want to be 70, 80. To really be able to take on events and not get one shot. Because right now all 60s get one shot in essentially everything right now. And that's also due to other factors. But if I want to level them up any further, I'm hard stuck. If I want to level up their traces, once again, I'm hard stuck. Because everything is tied to this freaking one stamina bar right here. And it's so freaking limited. So there's that. The drop rates are abysmal. You get so little. So it'd be one thing if I could grind it and get an abundance, an, like an insane amount, but it's not the case. I can grind all these stages and I'm getting so little resources to get one trace level. One trace level doesn't help me. But then that's not enough. If you happen, as you saw from my um, the character that I had, I need to go farm these. So that's more stamina wastage that I have to do in order to ascend the character. Then, if that's not enough, oh, you want to actually make your character good. Now you got to go farm relics. <sighs> Boy, freak me. Like I said, I like the game, but this stinks. 
This straight up stinks. That I can't use half the characters that I want to use. I go over here to Asta. Oh, level these up, why don't you? Don't even have that many resources to freaking level up the dang on relics for crying out loud. And you will run out if you just try to spam all of these into your level like relics. Because you waste eight a piece when you auto add, and these disappear so fast. Upon auto adding, try to all the way to get to get all the way to level 15. So if that's not enough, you can't even upgrade the relics to make your characters viable. Bro, you can't upgrade your traces. You can't upgrade it. You can upgrade the light cone, but you need to freaking do this crap. I'm not upgrading them three star. It's just so much stuff to upgrade. And they don't give you none of the resources to do it. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. I just want to have fun, y'all. Here, listen to me. I want to have fun. I want to use my characters. I should be able to flip-flop through every person on this freaking screen if I want to. Why the freak is everything time-gated for weeks and months? Why the freak is this Stupid event time gated. It's somewhat interesting, but what's the point of this? What the freak is the point of putting a time gate on it? Some things need to be time gated, sure, whatever, they extend it. But why does every single thing in this game time gated? Everything. It's trash. <sighs> But like I said, though, I I went ahead and obliterated my my future character's experience in terms of like my main eight. Just to see what would happen. Just to see if I could complete stuff easier. And there's some things that I have come slightly easier. And there's a lot of things that aren't easy. Because like I said, with all these characters being level 60, they don't have traces. They don't have relics. They don't have light cones. All these things need to be leveled up to make them useful. It's just they have to be. You're, moving, you're missing out on so much stats and there are too many enemies that will one shot with the state that the rest of my characters are at. And guess what I can do about it? Nothing. And one more thing. If I'm summoning for characters, give us these. Either give us these refreshes for summoning characters or give us character resources for obtaining four and five star characters that's the only thing i can see that makes this game better now obviously i know what this game is i know what mihoyo does i know how they function but we don't why we, why do we have to be like this? we don't have to sit in this crap they can do better if we want them to do better if I was to click this summon button, right, and I'm doing this summon and I get this three star or four star, it's a three star. With this freaking multiplication, well, click, click something, something pop up. If I'm summoning over here for these. I mean, for these these cards, right? And I pull Good Night and Sleep Well, which is a Nihility card, Light Cone. I should get things to upgrade this. I should get the little, like the actual level up materials, number one. I should get Ascend materials, number two. Period. When I open this, that's what I should get. And vice versa for each one of these. When I pull Luosha... I should get abundance materials and level up books so I can use the freaking character. <sighs> all right, I'm done. I don't know what else I can say. Because I have all these characters. I'm trying to use them. And the game is just pimp smacking me and saying, stop it. And no, 
You don't get to have fun with characters. Because I'm going to make sure you can. Because everything in this game is limited. And it's insane how limited everything is. Who cares if the gameplay is nice if you can't play the game with the rest of the characters? Ah, <sighs> God. I just want the game to be better, man. I just want to be able to play the actual game in my free time and enjoy it. I want to be able to switch characters and try different teams out in hard content, and I cannot do that. And it has nothing to do with skill. It has to do completely with the game's distribution of resources, which is dumb. We are like a month, two months in now. It's, it's, a, it's a irritating. Who the freak wants to wait a year to play with a character that I pulled at the beginning of the game? That's just dumb, y'all. I wish we could work together. I wish I had a bigger voice that we could actually do something as a community to make them change that system. Because it's kind of to the point where it's just like, oh, that's how it's been. So therefore, we should have it. And that's all we and then just that's it. But like that, that's trash. I think that's a terrible mentality to have. If things don't feel good, do something about it. And I think that the community should do better. Like they should like I feel like the community should fight. Like if you want them to increase the drop rates so that you can actually play with free characters because I would hate to see how this game is in the eyes of free to play players like my resources are limited free to play players resources are even worse all I have to say was that I ruined my account so you didn't have to and I'm not mad at it but man I just wish I could have more fun I would have so much more fun if I could just use all those characters that I just had maxed out that I leveled up that I can so Thank you for watching if you watch. Rub like on the video if you like. Comment something down below. Let me know how many characters did you actually use in this game. Because I use like eight. Seven. Like six. I use like six characters in this game. <laughs> Thank you for watching if you watch. It's all jokes, y'all. It, kind of serious, but like, it's jokes, y'all. Drop a like on the video if you like. Comment something down below. Sorry if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.